The U.S. Petroleum Department has long been recognized as one of the premier programs in the nation for those looking to break into the oil and gas industry. And now the school and students are seeing the benefits of a unique accreditation that many hope will catapult the university into a global leader in the field. Mike Carter has our top story. When I first came here, I, uh, they asked me to get this going. I said, sure, I'm a petroleum engineer. It's only been three years since UL's Petroleum Department hired Randy Andrus as an instructor, but his love affair with oil goes back a long way. Roughnecking in high school, I've been in the industry for over 40 years, specifically in drilling. This school year marks the first time any college or university in the nation has received accreditation in well control training. And this is why that's so important. 2010's Deepwater Horizon drilling rig explosion took the lives of 11 people 40 miles off the Louisiana coast. This is what this lab is all about. Since the uh, event in 2010, the government really wanted to step in and make it regulatory, that, that they wanted to control how we were going to be educated. Students in the department now graduate IADC, or International Association of Drilling Contractors, certified making UL the only school in the nation to offer such accreditation. Now that when I go out there and find a job, it, you know, <laughs> I can actually boast about it and say, hey, I graduated from an accredited university in drilling engineering. Whereas most programs only offer computer-based simulations, yeah. UL's well control simulators allow students a hands-on approach to learning. I didn't know how unique it was when I initially came here. I thought most universities had this, but like, there's no place where you could physically have the same things you have, might see on a rig. Andrus says UL's six operating labs give students the best in class industry education, ever mindful of why that education is so important. Unfortunately, this, something like this is going to happen. All we can do is the best we can do to educate our people. At UL, Mike Carter, KATC TV3.